It appears preliminarily that it was a very random act of violence. Breaking news right now, one person is dead, two others hurt, including the suspect, after a stabbing at a rest stop on the Ohio Turnpike. This all unfolded just after five tonight at the Erie Island Service Plaza. That's a place you might stop and get gas or food. That's just between Fremont and Bellevue. And as you just heard, state troopers say this appears to be a random act of violence and the sheriff's office saying the same. Now the investigation turns to what prompted this deadly stabbing and to the Sandusky County Sheriff's deputy who shot that suspect. Tatiana Cash is live from the scene tonight with the latest on this breaking news. We first brought you as an alert to your phone. Tatiana, what can you tell us? That's right, Melissa, Jeff, they're still trying to figure out what exactly happened, what prompted all of this right now. Again, this eerie service plaza, the, the westbound again, just off the Ohio Turnpike still closed down because they've got technically three different active scenes at this one incident that happened. We spoke with law enforcement and again, as we had mentioned, this happened after five. They received the call troopers say around 517 and then at around 525 deputies arrived and when a deputy arrived, he again saw the man wielding a knife and found out that that man had actually already stabbed two people. One of those people unfortunately is deceased. The other one was taken by helicopter with life threatening injuries. Now, of course, the deputy did interact with the person with the knife, of course, and was not able to get him to take down the knife. So what happened is that man charged at the deputy. The deputy then had to use force. And again, as we have been mentioning, this was a very random act. He engaged the suspect. Um, he verbalized with the subject. Um, he used less than lethal uh, munitions initially, which had no effect on the suspect. And at that point, the suspect charged uh, the Sandusky County Sheriff's Office deputy and the deputy discharged his weapon, uh, shooting and stopping uh, the gentleman. So again, because this was an officer involved shooting, uh, deputies, law enforcement themselves are just trying to make sure that this is justified. So they're working to get more details so they can't give us a ton of information right now, apart from the fact that, again, unfortunately, one victim is deceased. The other one was taken by helicopter with life threatening injuries. That suspect is still alive, uh, was taken to an area Toledo Hospital. No word on his injuries, but this is not going to be a scene that's going to be clearing anytime soon because it's three separate uh, active scenes with one in investigation and they're working to get more details on that. So of course I'll send it back to you all in the studio. Tatiana Cash reporting live for us there in Sandusky County on tonight's breaking news. You can download the WTOL 11 news app right now to stay up to date on breaking news with alerts right to your phone. You can also watch the full interview with law enforcement on tonight's deadly stabbing there and shooting at the Turnpike Plaza.